This very short video is on the CAPM and its implication for risk analysis. So the CAPM allows to decompose an asset's return variance sigma square i into a diversifiable component sigma square epsilon i and into a systematic component beta i square sigma m square. So mathematically we can write that as follows, where the left-hand side captures total risk of asset i, sigma square epsilon i captures the amount of asset-specific risk, and beta i square times sigma square m is asset i's amount of systematic risk. And in addition, remember, only beta i square times sigma square m is compensated by a risk premium. The risk that comes from sigma square epsilon i is not compensated by a risk premium, according to the cap M. And graphically, that is represented by what we called in a previous video the security market line.